hello beautiful people you're welcome back to my youtube channel my name is deborah gundari and i'd like to wish you a happy new year you know 2021 was a good year and i believe that 2022 is going to be an amazing year for all of us so welcome back and so this year i thought to myself that you know the first video for the year I'm going to be sharing with you 15 lessons I learned in 2021 because life is about learning, um, relearning and, you know, unlearning something because we just have to keep growing every single day of our lives. So I thought to share with my friends and I hope you learn a thing or two from, from, from the lessons I, I learned in 2021. So we'll just get right into the video yeah so the first thing i learned like and it's not in any particular order i'm just gonna um it's just the way i was thinking about it and then i wrote it down yeah so no preference and all it's, it's just um the way i was able to come up with it yeah so the first thing is that instead of worrying pray about everything you know Sometimes we get, you know, we get to worry a lot and then instead of, you know, just do your part and then leave the rest for God. Know what, identify the things you're supposed to do and then, you know, do it. What is my home part? What are the things I can control, you know, and work towards it. So that's, 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 the, that's one of the, one of the things I learned, you know, instead of worrying, pray about everything do your part identify the things you're supposed to do you know and then leave the rest for god yeah so the second thing is for you to accomplish your goals you know money is not necessarily the first thing yeah so you have to have a clear vision of what you want to do you know and then be able to communicate effectively and then the money will come, you know, if you will require money. So you should be able to like, okay, understand the vision of, oh, this is what I want to do. I want, maybe I want to relocate and then understand the process. What are the things you need to do? How much you need and everything. Do that part and then be able to communicate it to the people around. This is what I want to do and everything come up with a plan come up with a system around it and things will fall in place things will fall in place you have to do your parts yeah so i i i it was one of the lessons i learned in 2021 and then number three i learned that god can make anything god can make things happen in the twinkle of an eye you know what you've been praying to god for years like, you can make it happen in a twinkle of an eye. So, you have to be, you know, you have to learn to trust Him for the impossible. Learn to trust God for the impossible. And then you have to be prepared because at any time, God can answer that your prayer. So, learn, learn to trust God for the impossible. It can happen within a twinkle of an eye. And then number four, I learned that people around you may not treat you the way you treat them so you have to love people unconditionally you know sometimes we expect people to um to treat us the way we we treat them but sometimes it's not like that so you have to just love people the, the way um you know just love people unconditionally not expecting anything in, in return because after all, we are all humans and we are, we can, you know, we have flaws. Yeah, so when you do that, you give yourself, you just have peace, you know, you have peace, you, there won't be too much trouble in your life. Yeah, so I, 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 I learned that, you know, and it saves me a lot of drama. I don't expect too much from people, you know, if you do good to me, but I expect you to do well. Good if I if I treat you, it's not because I'm treating you well, not because oh I'm expecting anything in return. You know, and if you decide to do treat me well too, it's all good for all of us and we are all happy. Yeah. So 
And then number five, I learned that God does not owe a man. The Bible says that he is a rewarder of them who diligently seek seek him. So I um God whatever you give to God, you know he will pay you back. He's not him, he doesn't owe anybody. So when you know when you're serving and you give your resources, he will pay you back, you know, when you are doing it to God and not to man. You know, because God actually looks at the intention of our, of our heart. So, I learned that as well. And then number six, people are assets. You know, people are assets. So, you have to be deliberate about your networks. All this, ah, I don't want to make friends. I don't want to do this. You need people in your space. You need people. I learned that a lot. People can come through for you. They go a long way in accomplishing your goal so like value people value people their assets you will need them at one point or the other yeah number seven don't be afraid to have big dreams don't be afraid to have big dreams don't think small you know the thing is always think big and then to create a balance you know you have to set realistic goals for your present. You have to set realistic um, goals for your present, for your present situation. But at the same time, don't allow your environment, where you are right now, to, to influence how you think. Because the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. So think big. When God is calling you international, even though you are local now, you have to think international. Don't think small of yourself. Think big and then set realistic goals for your present, what you can do, you know, because if you think big and you are just, you are living in that need when you have not going, God has not taken you there. You might, you might not achieve much. But when you set realistic goals and then you think about, okay, um, um, you think about your future and you're not thinking small you know with time you will get there by the grace of God yeah and then um, number 8 sometimes I learned that sometimes man propose proposes but God disposes so God is the script writer of our life and we have to surrender our wills are we used to him all the time god normally steps in when you are you know i have this plan i have this and all that and god will just say you know what this is where i want you to go and because it's actually our life it's, it's god has written the script of our lives so we are just playing it out you know we're playing it out it is a place of um um choices and all but god has written i learned that this year that god has written the script of our life he will interfere you know and then make things happen you know break protocol sometimes for you so you know to just show that he is god yeah i learned that and then number nine family is everything you know family is everything and you have to just be grateful for your family because we don't you, you, you can never have a, uh, I, I don't think there should be a family that is perfect but you know you have to just appreciate yours and the more you appreciate you more you get from them so you appreciate them more you get more from them because every other person can leave but family cannot leave you they stay by you every day they stay by you every day so family is everything i learned that so much and then number 10 yeah so i learned that everybody cannot be like you everybody cannot be like you so you have to respect people differences you know i'm that person that i just feel well, i did it this way you should be able to do it that way the this way as well but i realized that you know you know, sometimes even if you understand this principle, you're going to enjoy the best from your relationship. 
with that marriage, you know, your friends, family, you're going to enjoy your relation because you'll be able to respect people differences. You all you will do as from your own part, you know, give your own opinion or advice. And then if the person takes the advice good, if the person doesn't, you know you move on and because you have do, you have done your part and it's it's just good. It's it's good you you are at peace with people. So I learned that to respect people differences because not everybody will be like you. And then number eleven to get the best out of your thing, you have to be interested in their personal life. So this is for work, you know, your career, you know, God has placed you as a leader, or even in a team generally, whatever position you are in a team, you know, you have to be interested in people with pass like their personal life personal life not like not that you'll be prognosing into their personal life but you know just show genuine love and care for people to get you get the best because the thing is aside work our personal life is very key to us so when that part is not all right you can't get the best from people so i learned that and i learned it from my boss this year that you know you have to genuinely care for people and love for you to get the best out of your thing yeah so number 12 i learned that you know never compete with anybody instead of competition collaborate you can collaborate with people when you you know they're in a workplace and you you feel oh, this person is doing better than you instead of you envying the person and say oh is, is is she the only one is he the only one why can't you move closer and say oh hey let me help you how can i help you with this you know just to get into the person's space and then you do more work together so that you can know you can catch up too as well and with that is a win-win situation because you get you get better at what you do and the first thing gets better too so it's a win-win situation instead of competition collaborate here and then number 13 never underestimate the power of thanksgiving journal you know this year, last that was 2021 myself and my husband we decided to to start that habit you know writing down um all that the lord has done for us like Every you know when you just go out maybe at this when we nearly had an accident we wrote it down how God saved us you know how God came through when we needed this you know you know things when you just feel oh this is just the hand of God you put it down you know it's a it's really a good thing when you feel down you know like what I learned like when you are down or you just feel things are not moving the way you want it to be when you go back to that Thanksgiving journal you know you will just your heart will be filled with gratitude because you'll be like wow God has been good like if it has not been God how, how, how would I have achieved this so when you go back to when you when you when you have it you know it's for days when you just but you don't Bible even say I forget not some forget not um all its benefits. Sometimes as human beings we forget, we tend to forget, but when we have that journal, you know, it helps you not to not to forget. You can always go back to it and you know your spirit will be lifted again and you just keep moving knowing that the Lord is on your side. Yeah. And then number 14 we're getting there <laughs> number 14 i learned that you know to save more you have to create a budget for your monthly expenditure and be diligent you know to eat but you, st you know you stick to that budget so before you even get your money you have to plan for it you know not that the money will just come and then you just start spending before you know it, the money has gone so you have to plan for your money know where money is going you know that's how we can be good steward because these resources is from the lord that's my belief 
yeah so you have to be a good steward for anything that comes into your hand and i learned that in, in a very um i learned that in 2021 again yeah so to save more you create uh you have to create budget so that you know this is the amount i'm saving this is the amount i'm you know i'm using for other expenses you'll be able to know how to save more and then you invest yeah so i i, I learned that and then number 15 which is the last but not the least <laughs> I learned that, you know, always celebrate your small wins. Always celebrate your small wins because it boosts your morale to do more. To do more. You know, it's not like, oh, you stay in it and say, ah, I just, you don't wait till, ah, when I, when I, you make big wins, you know, that's when you will now say, ah, this is the time to celebrate myself. But when you do something you know, as little as okay, you got a maybe you're trying to apply for a PhD, you got a response from a, a lecturer, even though it might not be like okay, a positive response in the first place, but because the person even responded and maybe gave you a name, maybe you can reach out to another lecturer or something, pat yourself at the back, tell yourself you're doing well. You might not have gotten you you, you, you might not have gotten what you want. But you are getting there. You are getting there. So celebrate your little, your, your small wins because it boosts your morale to do more. And when you get the big win, you'll be able to celebrate more. Yeah. So I hope you have learned a thing or two. And I hope that this video um, would bless you uh, as, as, as well. So, thank you so much for listening to me today. And I wish you all the best this new year. It's going to be an amazing year for us. God will show us in a, show up in a big way for us. And our lives will continue to be testimony. Our lives will continue to give God glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's going to be an, a, a year of divine help for all of us in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. So I would like you to subscribe, you know, click the notification button so that whenever I release any video, you can, you can see it as well. And then sh share this video with your friends and like, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.